Don't tickle it, hit the bugger. My videos are not the tightest, most put together things on this website. I'd say a slacker-like quality emits from these videos, and I love each and every one of them. Maybe some people work with that, I don't know. Despite everything, I still made something that conveyed a message that I was actually going for. I always go for pretty fun ideas when it comes to doing videos, because that's what's inspiring to me. All these ideas I have in my brain, I need other people to see how fun all these ideas truly are, and that I'm not a crazy person. Hi, Tyler Perkins. If you're new here, you're not supposed to be here. I talk about whatever seems appropriate at the time. I drive to keep pursuing pursuing your dreams despite what criticisms or challenges await you. Well, a gratifying experience can be a taxing one. Not a pity party, more venting of frustration. About something that's important to me and is the very foundation of this channel. Music. And my overall insecurities with making it. Like many of you heard a thousand times before by a privileged white man someone like me, music was a huge part of my life. Yes, a wannabe YouTuber also wants to be a musician. Playing guitar all through high school, I had no real reason to not give this a try. Well, I got a fine art scholarship, which, you know, on paper sounds great, only to get a feeling akin to getting clotheslined with piano wire. It wasn't until much later, only last year, that I would start making content on this channel whenever I could. Of course, I wanted this so bad. Part of me wanted to make sure I knew what I was talking about. I had to know why I did a certain action and that I could back it up with this 200 IQ knowledge of music theory. And the other part of me just didn't want to look stupid. I didn't want to look foolish. There was a time where I thought I knew everything I ever needed to know to start this leap. And then boom, you watch one JHS video that totally shatters your confidence and knowledge of guitars and music forever. I fucking love this show, man. I realized over time that the work is the reward. That personal gratification is one thing. And when it came to making content that people found interesting, well, that intimidated me. I got tired of pretending like I should know everything in order to be great. And now with everything that I know, all I want to know is what to do with this information. What good is this information to me if I don't know where to use it? Well, you need inspiration, something to almost make you hopeful that you can make something as cool as the thing that inspired you. Fun things are always inspiring to me. I've done music slash gear related videos in the past to find out what I wanted to do with this channel. Those videos have since been deleted by me. These videos, I will even admit, are rushed, half-baked ideas. And this isn't me being self-deprecating or insulting my own skills as an artist. I took them down because they weren't fun for me, and to me, that's pointless. Making those first few albums, and living with some of the mistakes I left in the tracks themselves, it makes me more prone to put out the best I could possibly muster, and not wanting to live with the mistakes that I now have to face because I didn't really give it my best shot. While I value and retained a lot of the knowledge I got from the college I went to, these insecurities I feel about music as a whole, a lot of this stems from the belittling experience I had at a crummy community college. Having a performing art degree made me feel like I was going to be stuck doing one thing for the rest of my life, and realistically, it would have been teaching. The thought of doing one thing for the rest of my life fills me with dread. <laughs> We're all complex, and we're all made up of more than one dimension. The thing about this place that art lives in is that people get these labels. You brand yourself and have to stick to one brand, which I fucking hate. Human beings are more complex than just a simple brand. All I want to do is everything that is creatively possible. I want to feel like I can do anything. And all this talk about teaching, while I've had great teachers at this school, I knew that schooling really wasn't going to be for me in the long run, but it has reminded me of the one teacher that has taught me something that no other teacher can replicate. Don't, don't clap actually, you know, think about it. Alright, here we go! I don't remember when I got this game, how this game came into my life. Out of everything, this game reminded me of the importance of having fun. I can't think of nothing better than getting spoon-fed David Gilmore solos back to back, finally nailing the intro to God Knows after years of playing guitar. Do you know what this means to me? I want my videos to inspire you. I want it to inspire you to quit your job, to pursue whatever it is you're pursuing. Rocksmith was the reason I went to school for music in the first place. Between that and graphic design, I chose a degree in music because 
I knew deep down that would make me the happiest and the most fulfilled. Rocksmith was there when nothing else worked. If I was stuck on a very hard song I would learn, I'd just throw on a custom DLC mod of any song and I'd be golden. If I was in a creative slump, I'd just play and learn some of my favorite songs on Rocksmith to get the ball rolling. Growing up in the sticks, I didn't have a lot of friends, let alone other people to play music with, and Rocksmith showed me glimpses of what it's like to perform with other people. Rocksmith showed you what it's like to play the guitar and all the amazing things that come along with it when you finally decide to hit the bugger. I've been kind of hard on myself throughout the video. I'm frustrated because the one thing I love doing in this world also makes me the most insecure I've ever felt. And I think I just described the feeling of love. I love doing creative things, the energy and excitement I feel making things. I get excited in the versatility of my one instrument and I can do whatever I want with it. Behind the scenes, I'm always plotting, scheming, thinking of new ways that people can experience these feelings that I have uh, every time I pick up my guitar. And that can be tricky sometimes, because art is subjective. That's why this... may or may not have sounded great to you. The ears of a total stranger that has different, ever-expanding tastes. It's taken me so long to craft a musical tone that I really liked, and it not only reflects me, but my inspirations. Also, sounds cool as fuck. <laughs> All I want to do at the end of the day is create all the awesome stuff that's in my brain. And that's what I've been doing. Whatever fears I have residing somewhere, when the project's finished, I could say I put something out in the world that someone found joy in. No matter what, I will always set out to achieve this goal. My name is Tyler Perkins. I hope we can do this again sometime. Until then, take care. Talk soon.